Hello, my name's Sean Garlick. I played at the Rabbitohs from 1990 to 93, then the Roosters from 94 to 97, then returned to the Rabbitohs for 98 and 99 when I retired. I'm now tied up full time in a business called Garlow's Pies. We're thin on pastry and we're big on meat. I came through the, the junior ranks and we actually won the uh, the under-21s in 1989. It was the same year that the Rabbitohs won the minor premiership in, in first grade. I graduated to reserve grade and then first grade the following year in 1990. When I first made first grade in 1990, they did a front page story on uh, Big League. They mentioned the fact that I was a uh, child actor. I remember uh, in one of my first games playing against uh, Balmain, uh, the great Stephen Roach. I got uh, thrown down in a tackle and, and, he, and he made a point of getting up and putting all his weight down through his knee onto my face as he, as he got back up to his feet and looking down at me and saying, oh, come on, stop acting. Uh, and, you know, and, and, and had a bit of a chuckle. Funny, I joined the police, I was, I was a mad rugby league follower at school and I, and I just had this dream to play first grade football. When anyone scored a try, they'd bring up the profile of the player that scored it. And, and I couldn't help but recognise that it seemed like nearly every second player was a policeman. And so I, I, I came straight out of school, straight out of the police academy and, um, and went to Maroubra Police Station, was posted there. So, you know, I had to battle working shift work with playing football mostly on a Saturday or Sunday, training of an afternoon. Everybody knows that the Rabbitohs were never ever flush with cash and it was at a time when um, there was so much invested in the Leagues Club that just took away from any chance of the football club being able to build. Um, so it was, it was heartbreaking, you know, and even myself, I had to leave in 1994 myself and go over to the Roosters. The Roosters at the time had gone through a few very lean years and so they brought over Phil Gould and I went, went actually from being um, reserve grade captain to first grade captain in one week. Immediately thought with Freddie coming over, he was he was Origin uh, captain and Australian captain that that we'd, I'd hand over the uh, the captaincy role over to him. But uh, Gus was quite happy with the job I was doing and uh, it worked really well, you know. And I had a, had a great time playing with with the likes of him and, and Matty Singh. I think came at the same time um, and for '96 and '97. The Rabbitohs were looking to, that had a few lean years and um, had a, installed a new coach by the name of Steve Martin, the ex-Manly um, halfback. And so he was installed as first grade coach and he gave me a call and said, oh look, we'd like to get you back to uh, the Rabbitohs, what'd you think about it? And, I, and I, I agreed, it was a great way to finish the career being back at uh, the Rabbitohs, where it all started. I was always going to be retiring at the end of 99 and right through that year, we knew the NRL was positioning uh, clubs for either merger or to be um, extinguished. And we knew the Rabbitohs were, were well and truly in the, in the sights of the NRL. The march was, uh, was huge, you know, and, and no one really expected it to be anywhere near as um, successful as it was. I've actually got a couple of photos out there where my eldest son now, who's 26, he was only seven. And he was on my shoulders and I spoke at the town hall in front of 100,000 people and said what it felt like to be a a Rabideau and, and to grow up uh, following the, the team and then to have it uh, thrown out of the competition and how much I look forward to them being back into the comp. And so in, in the end it was people power that, that got the club back into the comp. When I finished playing I really didn't know what I wanted to do other than leave the police. Um, so I, I, I sort of uh, looked around. I, my brother was a, a pastry cook who was working in a local pie shop for about $400 a week. He was a bit miserable and bored. And I said, oh, what about if we had our own shop, would you like to you know, run our own business? And he was in for it. I thought it was just gonna be a hobby for me. And, um, but what we did to launch it was, um, I called on my friends, and in particular, it was Glennie Pallister, who was executive producer of the footy show at the time for many, many years. And, and I wanted to get the, you know, the greats like Arthur Beetson and Mark Carroll and uh, Craig Salvatore, Daryl Broman and uh, Mark Geyer uh, together for a pieing contest and um, they, 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 they covered it live on the footy show. They crossed back and forward to us about three or four times and it just, it just launched the, the, the business like, uh, like no one could have expected. I was selling like hotcakes, I couldn't believe it. We went from having you know, five staff to, to 150 staff. We then started supplying to pubs and clubs and schools and cafes and sports grounds and all of a sudden we, we were supplying to the Coles um, New South Wales. It had been involved in the Rabbitohs and being able to support them since 2001, you know, since we first started and when the Rabbitohs got back in the comp has been great. Pies and football are forever linked anyway. You know, I was just very lucky that, um, you know, I chose a, 
a business that was so relatable. You know, the fact that it was so relatable to football is just, it was just a big fluke, really. When people say, what are you doing? I say, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pie man, you know. They, you know, that usually brings a smile and people can relate to it straight away and uh, it's, it's, it's great.